Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, I want to go ahead and look at something called Singularity Net. Now, in case you don't know what this is, it's essentially a technology ecosystem, but it's so much more than that. So, let's go ahead and take a look at it, dive in, and explore the uses and potential of this project. Basically, it is all about AI and AGI. It helps pioneer the AI and AGI ecosystem and expand the network. Basically, it's the next generation of decentralized AI, which is so cool already. Just from that statement, you can see the potential very clearly. But let's get into what it's all about. The vision. Obviously, it's the world's leading decentralized AI marketplace running on blockchain. Their core mission is the development of AGI or artificial general intelligence for a beneficial technological singularity. And that is just that's so cool. But let's get into it. Decentralized. Decentralized AI through emerging blockchain technology, creating a fair distribution of power, value, and technology in the global commons. That right there is honestly the goal of a lot of AI producers, but not many have actually achieved it. So let's see if obviously Singularity Net can do that. Beneficial AI Network. It offers AI systems focused on making the world a more compassionate, more just, and more sustainable place right now and into the future. And of course, they do this through AGI development. They create a foundation for the emergence of decentralized human-level intelligence, open sourcing the creation of AGI. Now, let's talk about their technology. Artificial intelligence. Well, they have an AI marketplace and AI publisher. You can search, trial, and select from an ever-growing library of AI algorithms created by a community of service providers. You can integrate these AI services into your own applications. Their publishing infrastructure provides both a central hub for creating, editing, and managing your AI services and the tools to launch those to their global market. Now, they offer an AI domain-specific language, or DSL. A deep, self-organizing network of AI agents running on the Singularity Net platform can outsource work to each other dynamically. Leveraging AI functions, exchanging input slash output data, negotiating payments, and enhancing the agent reputation system. This pioneering AI network in which the intelligence of the whole greatly succeeds, exceeds the intelligence of the parts. If you can grasp what that is, basically, it's like a neural network of different AIs all working together, each with a specific function, and each which knows what to pass off to the other. Next up, though, let's talk about their AGIX staking and bridge. You can earn more while holding AGIX tokens by vesting them in staking sessions, which will also support the operations of their blockchain network. Not only that, but Bridge allows users to transfer their tokens across supported blockchains such as Ethereum. Now let's talk about the OpenCog Hyper Hyperion. OpenCog Hyperion is a long-term project to implement a complete, scalable, and open-source general artificial intelligence system based on the principles of OpenCog. It is an open source platform where different AI strategies and methods such as neurosymbolic AI, evolutionary learning systems, and more can collaborate based on a shared knowledge metagraph. Now, if that doesn't sound cool, well, you know, it is cool. So let's take a look at more of the information that they have on these systems because this is one of, well, the most promising AI, essentially decentralized projects out there. There is so much about it that's cool, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you more about it. Now, as you can see, their community recently voted to set aside $500,000 of USD worth of ADA tokens in funding for AI projects that deepen the partnership between Singularity Net and Cardano. Now, it's an incredible opportunity, but let's go ahead and talk more about their token advantages. Obviously, it's a utility token, so it's decentralized AI marketplace transactions to enable global access to AI services and more. It's a multi-chain token. It offers governance and voting and even ecosystem airdrops with 5% of tokens from all these projects to AGIX token holders. Now, let's talk about more about the actual product and the ecosystem. So if we go ahead and take a look at the ecosystem and what it basically offers, 
it offers, as you can see, a large ecosystem of many, many projects which are all working together. When building the foundations for AGI, it's also bootstrapping an ecosystem of organizations that will fuel the platform with AI services and essentially create massive utilization of the AGIX token. It has an ecosystem with all these different projects, such as Rejuve AI, which builds a decentralized network of researchers, clinicians, and data contributors working together on longevity research, making the resulting solutions affordable and accessible to all, as well as NuNet, which builds the infrastructure providing globally distri distributed computing power and storage, and even Sophiaverse, which starts with NFT-based gameplay and evolves into a full-fledged environment and API for games and more. There's a lot of different AI systems here, as you can see, such as Mindplex, a decentralized media platform connecting content creators and consumers, combining an AI-enhanced media experience with a merit-based reputation engine. All of these are connected together on SingularityNet. It's not just one platform. It's not just one website. They are all connected and they all work together through Singularity Net. This is so cool because it really just shows you the future of AI. AI is not meant to be, you know, just one product operating on its own. It can work together with many other AIs and it can become even more powerful. And that's the goal of Singularity Net. Now, obviously there may be some concerns about how fast this is moving and such as they mentioned with the whole idea of the singularity. But with that being said, what do you think about it? Do you think there are security concerns? And do you think that they shouldn't be trying to move toward a singularity as fast as many people are? Or are you excited to see what the future brings? Let me know in the comments. Go ahead and you know tell me your thoughts on that. That is going to do it for this video on singularitynet.io though. So Go ahead and check it out if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video.